Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's definitely been a while. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've really had all the intentions in the world to just continue filming throughout the holidays and like do more content around that. But um, sometimes life happens and I wasn't able to this year. Um, well, this past year. But it's okay. Everything's good. Um, I'm back now, which is the important thing. And today's video, I really wanted to talk about kind of the new year, my intentions, my goals, my expectations of it, a little bit of a reflection on my previous year as well. And yeah, kind of have it be a bit more of a casual chat, conversation. Um, this kind of idea came to me because I had a chat with my dad um, before the holidays. This was just like back in, I think, late November, maybe early December. And we were just chatting like normal, just like nothing really in particular. And he asked me like, what are your expectations for the new year? And it really got me thinking because I think it was a little bit earlier than what I usually, <laughs> why, when I usually think about this type of stuff. Um, but I already had like a couple of like very clear things that I wanted to kind of set my intentions for this year. And I kind of wanted to talk about that kind of share it with you guys, kind of start a little bit of a conversation. And yeah, before we dive in though, really quickly, happy holidays, happy new year, happy everything. Since I haven't been around, I haven't really had the chance to tell you guys that, um, yeah, I hope you have the best 2024 possible. I send you the best wishes and yeah. Anyway, continuing on with the subject, now that we got that out of the way. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, I was talking to my dad and one of the first things that came to mind when he asked me like what your intentions are for 2024 was I really want to focus on my YouTube channel and like get more serious about it. So a little bit of background. I've been wanting to have a YouTube channel for years. Like I've known that this is something that I want to do for the longest time. Like I think when I fully decided like this is something that I really want to do is back when I was in university, like maybe in like 2017. Um, I even had like a different channel name and like had all these ideas about stuff that I was gonna do. And back then I ended up not really going through with it for the longest time, as you guys can see. Um, mostly because of like fear. I kind of was afraid of like what people were gonna say, like people that knew me back in my town. Not really my friends. My friends are pretty great. They're pretty supportive and stuff, but like just other people and like just not being good enough and had like all of this fear and insecurity about it and really kind of helped me back. And yeah, a couple of years, well, a lot of years passed as you can see. And just last year, I actually followed through with it and I created my channel, um, which I'm quite happy about. Um, kind of going back on my last year, reflecting on it and kind of going through my planner that I used last year and everything, I found that literally in January, like one of my goals for the month, I knew that one of my goals for the year last year was to create my YouTube channel, which thankfully I did, so I'm quite happy about that. But for January, one of my goals was to create my first YouTube video, which didn't end up happening in January. It actually took me six months, I think, from then to actually film and upload my first YouTube video. It's not the greatest, it's still in my channel um, if you wanna watch it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was definitely, a, it's definitely been a learning curve and it's definitely been a journey since starting my YouTube channel. I feel like I've also like just had so many ideas of what I want to do, what I want this channel to be. Mostly like in general, just space to share my interests. But like sometimes I found that I wanted to do certain videos and like for some reason when I actually went to like execute it or like film it, it like didn't really make sense to me or like I was like actually I don't think this is like worth doing or like I don't think anyone will watch this and I didn't end up doing a lot of the content that I thought originally I was going to do for this channel. I'm still very much finding my voice I think and I think that's a good thing. I'm quite happy with my journey with it so far. Um, I really wanted to start out my channel being like very fashion focused, 
beauty focused, kind of like talking about um, other things, kind of like mindfulness and just having conversations and like wellness, self-care, you know, all that fun stuff, like books, media, everything. Everything that I'm kind of interested in, which is a lot of stuff. And I kind of started thinking like as I started doing like different videos and like different styles of content and trying out different things like, okay, maybe this isn't really for me. This doesn't really make sense for me to do. Or maybe I want to talk about like, let's say fashion, but I want to do it in a different way. So for example, I've done quite a couple of fashion videos already and it's usually been more like either talking about certain things that I want to buy or showing you guys things that I've just bought. Um, and even though that's great and I've enjoyed that kind of content for a while, um, I feel like it's not really something that I want to continue to do as much because I do have quite a peculiar relationship with fashion and with consumerism and as a whole and something that I'm quite passionate about and I really want to talk about more in my channel. So hopefully that's one of the things that's going to be a lot of the content um, for the new year, which is basically like as a little like, you know, just for a little bit of context of what I mean, what I mean is that like, I love beautiful things. I love fashion. And I also really like to be when I can for like the most part as mindful of what I buy as possible. I love beautiful things, but I don't like having too much of anything. Like if I, I would be happy just having basically like a very curated collection of stuff and being like so happy with every single thing that like I don't feel the need to buy anything else. Like that for me is like the ideal, the ideal of everything. And that sounds really great, right? But at the same time, I do like buying stuff and I like buying new stuff, you know? And I've kind of struggled a little bit with that kind of like polar opposites um, of kind of like my relationship with fashion and beauty and consumerism. But it's something that I've worked on for a while and it's definitely something that, again, I wanna talk about more. So we'll probably do a lot more videos on that this year. Um, but yeah, so I've definitely been trying to find my voice this year. Um, I think that's going to be one of my main focuses on the channel, kind of finding my voice, finding the type of content that I feel best creating, that I kind of want to create, finding kind of like my purpose in it all. I don't also feel like it's worth creating content just for the sake of it. Like, I feel like nowadays, especially, there's like just so much saturation of everything on the internet that it doesn't really make sense for me to like maybe do like oh i'm gonna be uploading a video every week and just like coming up with anything just like you know like stick to that schedule like i do definitely want to upload more but i also don't want to be that kind of strict with myself and like i don't want to like i don't want to do stuff that has no purpose i want to make sure that everything that i upload I feel like has a purpose and that will hopefully help someone or like at least like instigate like a conversation or like I don't know just just that's kind of like what, what I feel like my intention for the channel is um so yeah I'm very excited about that I feel like I'm I really want to focus more on my time and my energy on my youtube channel in every way possible so if you guys also have any type of like recommendations or anything you want to see please let me know. As I already kind of mentioned and teased, I will be doing more kind of consumerism and fashion content um, around beauty and all that type of stuff. I also want to focus a lot more on um, mindfulness and like wellness, self-care, just like talking, having conversations, conversations about like, kind of like this one, about like everything and anything, like conversations about feminine energy like that's something that I'm really into and like spirituality and like habits creating habits like um stuff that I'm reading about like I always like to learn and I always I'm very into like health and like how to like improve myself in every way possible and that's something that I really enjoy and then there's also like certain like phenomenons that I also really like talking about like in 
media and stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of everything, I think, but hopefully it's gonna be fun. And hopefully you guys are really gonna enjoy it. I am very excited about it and yeah. So that's one of my main goals for this year, YouTube, which is kind of also linked to my second kind of goal, which is to like stop buying so much stuff. So as I mentioned already, I, my content so far has been a little bit more centered around like showing you guys what I bought. And even though I, I don't mean to like stop buying stuff like or do like a no buy year or anything like that, I do want to be a bit more mindful with my spending this year. I want to be more mindful in what I'm spending my money in, what I'm buying, what I'm bringing into my house, into my wardrobe, into my space, and making sure that um, ideally, um, if I do a declutter at the end of the year, or the beginning of the year, like it won't be that much stuff. Like that's something that to me is quite satisfying. Like I like doing the clutters every now and then. I usually do like one a year. Um, and even though it's very satisfying, kind of like getting stuff out and being like, oh, I have like a lot more space now and I don't have that much stuff now and stuff like that. Like I also don't want it to be like every time just like piles and piles of stuff. So like, for example, I'm doing a declutter right now for my closet and like last year when I did mine, I ended up having like maybe like three bags full, three or four bags actually like full of stuff and they were like big bags as well. This year I only have two, which I think is great. Um, I'm quite happy about that. And then hopefully next year it's just gonna be one and so on and so forth. I really like to kind of have like a little bit of, of like a, how do I say it? Like, have like a little bit of like contentment, I guess, with the stuff I already have and like not being the mindset of like, I don't know, I can buy stuff and then I can declutter it and it's fine. Like, it's still like declutter and I also feel like can be a bit of an issue if it's done too much. Um, so yeah, that's kind of one of my other goals, kind of like being more mindful with my spending. I'm, all, I'm someone that isn't really that into finance, I guess. Like, I mean, other than like personal finance, stuff like that, not really a finance girl, but it's something that I want to learn about more this year as well, kind of be a little bit more educated on it, like the basics of it, stuff like that. And, and yeah, kind of like build myself up for success for my future financially. Um, so yeah, that's kind of I think tied to that second goal, kind of like stop shopping then and then with that extra money, kind of hopefully educate myself and be able to like invest it in good stuff. So yeah, that's kind of my second goal. My third goal for the year has to do with my house. So last year I kind of moved um, on my own kind of. Uh, I mean, I live with my partner, but like um, it's the first time I've not lived with my family. Like it's the first time, let's say I'm like independent and I have my actual own house, like my own space, not just like a room in my family's home. Like, um, and it's definitely been great. Last year, a lot of my year was kind of focused on that, focused on like getting everything together, getting everything furnished, and like also making sure that this house actually feels like a home, not just like have it be like just a regular house, but like, you know, and, I want to focus also like this year a little bit more on that because I find that last year since it was definitely like a period of adjustment and like having to like take care of everything just myself and um, obviously with my partner as well obviously he helps me <laughs> but you know what I mean um, I really want to focus this year on kind of creating routines in order to make stuff sustainable like making sure that like keeping the house up to like a certain standard of like cleanliness and everything that like that is sustainable and I don't get like super burned out by it. That's been something that's been a bit of a journey for me as well. Like trying to like figure out how to do stuff. Like right now I have a system that I feel like it's kind of working really well. I've been using it for a couple weeks now since the year started and like a little bit before that where like every day I take off like an area of my house that I like fully clean and like so like for example today 
Um, I do, I like deep clean my kitchen. So everything is nice and tidy and clean. And then tomorrow I might do um, my bathroom and then I deep clean my bathroom. And so that's really nice and clean and stuff like that. And then like the next day I might do my room. The next day I might do the living room, like, um, you know, like in that way every day I kind of chip it off a little bit. So it's not like just like one huge day of like cleaning the entire house. And then that way I also feel like um, things are like tip top shape always. Like I can have like a surprise visitor and my house won't be a complete wreck. So I've been liking kind of that routine and then also having like a very like small, like um, kind of like washing not washing like maintaining maintenance routine we're like again today i deep clean my kitchen but obviously the kitchens get dirty quite fast so tomorrow morning i like wipe the surfaces and not like super deeply like i did today but like just so like it's maintained and like just doing that so like everything's maintained throughout the week and then on the weekend i probably won't do much and then on monday i start again so I will be reporting back on how that's going as well. And if you guys wanna see also kind of like homemaking content, I am thinking about kind of incorporating that a bit as well. That will probably come a little bit later just because I'm still kind of figuring everything out. Um, but yeah, that's something that's also been kind of like a focus in my life that I want to continue to have it as a focus in my life for this upcoming year. Which brings me to my fourth goal. Yeah, fourth. Which is also something that's been kind of a focus of my life for a couple of years now and it's been a New Year's resolution. <laughs> new Year's resolution, like an intention for the new year for a couple of years now and I want to continue to have that kind of a tradition and that intention, which is to take care of myself. Now, it's again, something that is not necessarily a new thing for me. I have been doing that for a couple of years and I started making like that like intention since 2021. Um, yeah, since like 2021, I've been like making sure that that's something that I really focus a lot of my time on. And I do like to have this as an intention as well, even though it's something that I do fairly regularly, just because I feel like it's always good to like again have that intention and like kind of even say it out loud say it out to the universe stuff like that i feel like that always helps us to like at least it helps me to like remind me of like actually following through with taking care of myself and keeping that a priority because i feel like sometimes like life can be so busy that like stuff happens and then maybe my shift will my, my focus will shift on something else and then before I know it, like my self care has just completely fallen down the wayside. And like for me as well, I feel like throughout my life, a lot of the times when I'm quite busy, I feel like everything else needs to be a priority. And then just like taking care of myself, even like on a very basic level, just ends up like not happening. And like everything else seems to be more important. And it's absolutely not true. And that's why I always like to keep it like as an intention, as something that I check in with myself every day, possibly every week for sure, every month and make sure that I'm doing it, that I'm following through with it and that that's always a priority for me. That's also one of the things that I really want to focus on and talk about a lot this year on my channel. Kind of self-care, self-care routines, mindset routine, not routines, mindset shifts, <laughs> like mindset talks, like. Um, how to take care of oneself, not only like physically through like self-care and like skincare and all of that stuff, but like mostly like through your like mentally, through spiritually, through like really loving your soul and like your essence and your aura and all that type of stuff. And that's definitely something that I really want to talk about this year. I wanted to talk about that type of stuff last year. And I think I kind of scratched the surface a little bit in certain videos. But again, I really want to do dedicated videos to that this year. And then for my final goal for the year, I really want to focus a lot as well on my physical health. I think that's kind of tied to my self-care one. 
But what I mean by my physical health is like, I, so also kind of like for context, thankfully, I've always been very blessed in the sense of I've never really had any like health issues. Um, I've been pretty healthy. I have always been quite slim. I never really needed to watch why, what I eat. Like I've always eaten just whatever I want and like I don't necessarily gain weight for it. Um, up, up to like last year, then I started like, gaining a little bit of weight for it for like the first time in my life. Um, and yeah, I've always just been thankfully pretty bad, blessed in that department. But since last year, as I mentioned, I kind of started gaining a little bit of weight and like in certain times I felt a little bit more fatigued and stuff like that. I kind of felt a little bit more of a need to focus a little bit more on my health in the sense of what I'm eating, doing exercise, all that type of stuff. Now I've been reading a lot on the subject and it's something that again, once I feel like I know a little bit more and I feel a little bit more confident giving my opinions on it, I'll definitely do content around that. But right now I'm still very much in the learning phases of it, um, of what I have to eat, what is good to eat, how to like sync what I'm eating to like my cycle, how to sync my lifestyle to my cycle, um, how to like do certain workouts for like certain things. Like I also was never really a person that really went to the gym much like back when I was like in high school sometimes I went to like I had like I did when I was in school I did like tennis and I did Pilates um with a friend for a while and then yeah when I was like I would also like do dance a lot so like that's the way I kind of stayed fit but like since I started when was since I did university and since I'm working now <laughs> I just usually never really do anything like um like active like that like i might do like dance every once in a while but um i don't really do pilates anymore like i haven't done pilates in years i haven't played tennis in years like it's just like something that i also really let fall through the wayside so i definitely want to be a bit more intentional in getting my like health routines in place making sure i'm doing stuff to benefit my health even though, again, I'm like right now, I'm pretty healthy, thank God, and like um, I'm quite blessed for that. And I just put on a little bit of weight, but I'm still like, I'm still fine. Um, I do want to make that a priority because at the end of the day, I'm not 15 anymore. And yeah, I feel like the earlier that we kind of like concentrate on that, the better. Um, I do want to get into like maybe you'll do like strength training stuff like that. It's still no no So also if you guys have like any recommendations of like what workouts you do and stuff like that Please leave them down below because I'm quite interested in that at the moment and it's also a focus That I want to take this year so Yeah, those are kind of like my intentions my thoughts so far for the year since I'm filming this on the 15th, so we're already halfway through January, I feel like so far, just for a little bit of an update, so far I think I've been quite good with a couple of things. Like I've been quite good with my home routines. I haven't been that good with YouTube just because this is my first video being uploaded. Obviously we're like two weeks into January, which is not ideal, but still, you know, I'm doing my best. Um, <laughs> I've been quite good at um, reading a lot about health subjects, so that's been quite good. I think I've also, a scenario I think I can improve, but I think I've also been quite good at the spending. I feel like I'm not spending as much so far. I mean, it's only been two weeks of the year, so at the end of the day, it's not really that much, but still. So I think if you guys can also, also want to like watch me do like, updates on all of my goals and like how everything's going i might also do that like maybe sprinkle them like certain videos or like if you guys want to see as dedicated videos please let me know i can definitely do that um but yeah that's kind of what i have been thinking about and what i want to focus on this year and i'd love to hear what you guys want to focus on this year and what are your intentions what are your goals what are your new year's resolutions um, please let me know in the comments down below and yeah again great stuff is coming to the channel so please stick around if you like this type of video or if you like my other videos please subscribe like this video and um, yeah again comment let me know and
anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. So without further ado, I'll say goodbye and see you soon. Bye.